गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल अत्री अकेडमी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड द मैनेजमेंट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एट्थ क्लास साइंस सब्जेक्ट लेट अस लर्न टुगेदर बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द चैप्टर लेट वी डिस्कस अवर जनरल थिंग इन द ancient time the human beings were not so civilized as they are today the earliest man used to wander here and there in search of uh, food hunting the animals but uh, later on with the passage of the time he somehow came to know to grow crops and learning to grow crops uh, it proved to be the milestone in the evolution of human civilization after the um, cropping after the man uh, learned the um, growing crops uh, he started to live in in uh, his uh, in villages uh, he started to live at a place and then there developed villages then the cities and so on and uh, so it is a uh, matter that the historians can perfectly say when actually did start the cropping but uh, it is supposed about 10000 bc the man had started farming and most probably the first crop uh, that human beings they uh, sowed was the wheat or the rice now let we begin with the topic of the class 8th lesson first of science subject crop production and management we start with the question what is a crop the growing large quantity of the same plants at one place is called a crop means when only one kind of the plants are grown at a place Uh, in large amount it is said uh, crop take example of uh, this here in this picture you can watch here there um, there are many plants of uh, mullet they are uh, and uh, here are of the cotton plants number of the co- uh, uh, a large number of the cotton plants are shown at a place Uh, in a large number this is said uh, the crop the crop of the cotton and it is the crop of the millet and uh, the next is what are the types of the crops there are mainly two types of the crops depending on the season the kharif crops and the rabi crops now what are the kharif crops the crops which are shown in the rainy season from june to september is called kharif crop the examples are cotton the peanuts soya bean and jowar you know it is usually the summer and after summer it rains the monsoon comes after summer season in april may june around so this is the time when the crops are uh, shown and those crops which are shown in this period are said kharif crops and the examples are cotton millet uh, soya bean peanuts etc etc now what are rabi crops the crops which are shown in autumn between october and march are called rabi crops you may also say that when it is autumn it is autumn it is the time of winter around in the months of uh, october november and december so we can also say the crop which is shown in winter is called a rabi crop because the autumn it falls after winter in winter so the crop which is shown in winter in autumn in between october to march is called ravi crop and the examples are wheat gram and mustard 
in winter you must have seen uh, the mustard uh, field and uh, the wheat crop <coughs> now the next question what are the methods of farming to sow the crop the farmer has to do many activities all these activities are called cropping methods let us explain you uh, when a farmer when a farmer grows any crop and takes its production during uh, um, from the very beginning to the last activity uh, last time when the farmer gets the production of the crop in this period a large number of the activities are performed by the farmer to get the yield of the crop these different activities which a farmer performs from the beginning to the uh, ripening to from the very beginning till the yield of the crop the are called the methods of farming there are different methods of farming the following are important one first method of farming or cropping is soil preparation first of all soil is prepared then sowing then manuring the fourth is irrigation fifth method is protection from weeds and sixth method is harvesting and the seventh is to raise these are the same seven main farming methods or main activities which a farmer performs from very beginning to the to the time of yielding the crop let we discuss them one by one uh, uh, in detail let uh, we start with the first activity what is preparation of soil the preparation of the soil by reversing the soil is called is called preparation of soil sorry it is misprinted here the reversing of the soil is called preparation of the soil and this work is done by the help of the plow or cultivator you know when uh, the soil is reversed uh, it will say in hindi ulatna palatna ulatna palatna matti ka ulatna palatna the reversing of the soil is called preparing of the soil read uh, this in this way it is a printing error uh, this work is done with the help of the plow and the cultivator in this uh, diagram you see it is an agricultural tool it is said plow and it has a sharp metal uh, part here and uh, metal sharp uh, with the help of this it uh, uh, reverses the soil and uh, <coughs> thus the soil is prepared the modern methods are these these are the modern machines of uh, uh, preparing the soil it is said uh, harrow it is one of the device called harrow and it is cultivator it is cultivator here now comes the next question why it is necessary to prepare soil you know due to the preparation of the soil the soil becomes porous and so soft when with the help of the plow the soil is reversed the soil is reversed it become porous and and it become soft which makes the roots of the plants easily grow to the depth when the soil is porous when it is softened then the root they penetrate deep in the soil and they get uh, more nutrition from the soil because the area up to which the roots spread they can get more nutrients from that area so the it is the first uh, thing which uh, is beneficial for the crop soil increases water holding capacity with the preparation of the soil the water holding capacity also increases then microorganisms they grow in the soil which further increase the fertility of the soil means here in this question they are said three things the one thing is that the soil becomes soft and porous when it becomes porous the supply of the air, uh, air is guaranteed and so it is beneficial for the roots to breathe properly 
and uh, the roots they flourish well in the uh, soil they penetrate deep and get more nutrition second thing when you prepare soil the water holding capacity of the soil increases and uh, with this the microorganisms which are farm uh, which are friend to the farmer many ways because by the composting pr process the natural decay of the organic waste they prepare humus and this humus make the soil fertile so preparing the soil it gives these benefits it gives these benefits uh, let i tell you one activity you must have done somehow uh, some day at your home uh, you must be having any plant in a pot at your home and when you water it uh, notice when the soil in the pot uh, is uh, hard and uh, you water the plant you will notice the water taken by uh, and notice the amount of the water taken and uh, that you uh, pour in the pot then after a few days when it is dry again you take a pointed object and very carefully uh, let the soil uh, dig the soil all around the plant carefully without causing any harm to the roots when this will make the soil porous and uh, the soil will be softened and then pour again the water now you will notice that uh, the amount of the water this time is more than ever you have planted before um now is the next question what are the various agricultural tools or implements in the figure here you are shown there are many agricultural tools the popular ones are here plow plow it is a traditional agricultural tool it looks like this as in the figure it has a long wooden shaft uh, and with this shaft uh, the buffalo uh, the bulls the bulls they uh, pull this uh, plow and uh, the farmer with the help of the sharp blade which we say it's a plow shear uh, which penetrate in the soil the soil is prepared by the farmers these are the modern agricultural tool in this uh, it is cultivator and it is harrow it has a number of the iron uh, blades eh, which are circular in shape uh, it is operated mechanically with the help of the tractor and in a very less time a uh, big uh, amount of the work is done and a large area is large, uh, in a large area the soil can be prepared easily now comes the next question what is plowing the plowing um, plowing the soil by plucking it with the plow or spade is called plowing you know take a plow and you pluck the soil means you reverse the soil you reverse the the part of the soil which is above uh, and uh, with the help of the plow it is just reversed sometimes uh, the soil is rigid eh? then the irrigation is done with the irrigation the soil is softened uh, and the plow and the spade do the right things means uh, they work properly you may notice and you may do this a small act, uh, you may do this uh, small activity at your home uh, take a spade and uh, <clears throat> hit it on the ground when it is dry and hard when it is dry you will notice it is hard then you pour uh, water at this ground and make it uh, and ensure it get wet and uh, after some time when the moisture is uh, lesser than um, the time of the uh, when you pour the water you will notice this time when you hit the spread it works properly you can easily dig there this is <clears throat> why sometimes before plowing the irrigation is done 
what is sowing the process of sowing the seeds is called sowing uh, when the seeds are shown in the prepared soil it is known as sowing what are the different methods of uh, sowing the following are the different methods of sowing the first is dragged or sprinkle method and the second is seed drill method these are the two major method which are adopted by the farmers to uh, seed to sow the seeds in the prepared land let me discuss what are these methods the first is what is the dragged or sprinkle method of sowing seed and what are its disadvantages the process of sowing by the by spraying the seed on the prepared soil is called the dragged or spraying method it is not a good sowing method because of it has following this advantage let i tell you when the farmer has prepared the soil with the help of the plow or the cultivator or the harrow the soil is uh, porous and it is completely ready for the seeds to be sown in it some farmers what they do they take the seeds in their palm and they sp- uh, spray uh, they throw it on the prepared land just like a sprinkle uh, and, ju- and just and just like they are sprinkling the seed on the prepared uh, soil this is a bad method of sowing it has this advantage the first is the advantage is that more seeds or fewer seeds fall on the field at a place when the seeds are sprinkled because when the soil is uh, ready to be uh, to sh- uh, ready to show the seeds uh, the farmer takes the seed in his palm and and sprinkle uh, uh, it spray it and throw it on the ground then there is the possibility the uh, sometimes at some place more seeds can be thrown and uh, fewer seeds can be thrown at a place sometime another disadvantage and the bigger one is the that there is a very strong possibility of these seeds to be eaten by the birds or the insects or the moths in the field when a farmer he uh, throws these seeds uh, over the prepared land then the insects uh, over there in the farm or the birds they can pick the seeds and as a result of the crop which the farmer wants to grow will be not that healthy uh, will be not that yielding because the seeds they are already taken up taken away by the insects or the birds so the poor crop is grown means the number of the plants which grow will be less now what is the seed drill method of sowing the seeds are shown at the appropriate depth with the help of seed drill these seeds are covered by soil which also redu- reduces just the chances of birds eating them this is a good method means seed drill drill must uh, drill it is a, a modern agricultural tool with this as you see here in this picture uh, it is a seed drill machine in this seed drill machine <coughs> these are the iron bars here to plow and these are the pipes uh, to sow the seeds and it is here a container at the top it contains the seed it is a machine it is so adjusted that the frequency of the seeds falling in the soil is set in such a way that the seeds are uh, shown at a proper distance and at uh, in a in a proper depth so there is a very strong possibility of these seeds to germinate properly so it is a very good method because when the seeds they are covered by the soil 
द मौत और द बर्थ दे कैन नॉट पिक दैम अवे सो द फार्मर्स दिस डेज दे प्रीफर टू सो देयर सीड्स बाय द हेल्प ऑफ अ सीड ड्रिल मेथड नो दे इज एन अदर दे इज एन एक्टिविटी इन योर बुक हाउ विल यू चूज हेल्दी एंड अनहेल्दी सीड्स इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैटर इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू कीप इन माइंड बिफोर द फार्मर सो द फील्ड विद द सीड्स बिकॉज इफ द सीड्स आर हेल्दी दे इज द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द हेल्दी क्रॉप बट इफ द सीड्स विच द फार्मर इज गोइंग टू शो इन द फील्ड आर नॉट हेल्थी देन दे इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट द क्रॉप विल नॉट बी दैट गुड सो बिफोर सोइंग द सीड इट इज नेसेसरी एंड इट इज बेनिफिशियल टू जज टू नो वेदर द सीड्स बींग सोन आर हेल्दी और नॉट सो इट कैन बी डन वेरी ईजिली बाई वेरी सिंपल एक्टिविटी विथ द फार्मर दे परफॉर्म एट द फील्स इन दिस एक्टिविटी वी टेक अ बकेट फिल इट विद हाफ वाटर दैन वी पुट द सीड्स इन इट आफ्टर सम टाइम वी सी दैट सम सीड्स सेटल डाउन इन द बॉटम ऑफ द वाटर बकेट एंड सम सीड स्टार्स फ्लोटिंग ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द वाटर द सीड्स दैट फ्लोट ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द वाटर आर ईटन बाय इंसेक्ट्स फ्रॉम इन साइड ड्यू टू विच दे आर लाइट वेटेड सो स्टार्ट टू फ्लोट सच सीड्स आर अनहेल्दी दो सीड्स विच सेटल डाउन इन द बॉटम ऑफ अ बकेट ऑफ वाटर आर हेल्दी सीड्स सो इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल एक्टिविटी when you take a bucket and uh, pour the seed in the bucket you will notice that uh, majority of the seed they will settle at the bottom of the bucket why they settle they settle at the bottom for being aware in weight but uh, you will also notice some seeds they are uh, some grains they will float on the water in the bucket why they float because Uh, due to the pest they are uh, these seeds they are eaten from inside by some pests eh? and when the pests they uh, eat the seed from inside the seed becomes hollow and uh, so it becomes light in weight and for being light in weight it floats on the water this is a very common and a very simple method to separate healthy and unhealthy when uh, after some times the seeds which are floating on the water uh, surface they are uh, removed and the seeds which are at the bottom of the bucket these are the algae uh, seeds and are used to sow in the field so it is a very nice method